KDU 88.1 FM, but we do have Jody Upshaw in the building. What's up, Jody? Hey, RS. <laughs> no need to be nervous, too, by the way. <laughs> it's all fun here, man. We just, you know, playing music on a Sunday, right? So uh, I just wanted to ask you, you know, like, how old are you, for those that might not know? I'm 12. See, and that's so young. Like, the sky's the limit. You have, like, uh, unlimited amount of things you can do. And uh, what got you interested in being a singer? Like, uh, for those that don't know, your father's Marvin Upshaw, a.k.a. KL. He's done music in the past. You know, have maybe you heard some of your father's music and wanted to, you know, maybe as an influence on you? Yeah, I've always been exposed to music, especially since my dad was... A rapper and all that was is he is he, ra- is he retired officially what's going on he's coming back all right. nah he's over he's I, over oh he's over <laughs> he's over <laughs> there's no father daughter track coming no or? no, <laughs> no. <laughs> she won't let you <laughs> no is that what it is? <laughs> but yeah so you heard some of your father's music and yeah lamar rash gave me some vocal lessons too okay. and um music was just like came naturally to me who are some of maybe the people that you heard when you were growing up that, you know, you liked that made it may, maybe even, you know, wanted you to be a part of it even more? Uh, Alicia Keys, Jay-Z, uh, Etta James. Whitney Houston was probably one of the first ones that I looked up to as one of my main idols. Who are some of the artists that you might listen to now like that may even influence you? Uh, Chris Brown. Yep. Uh, uh, Janelle Monae. Oh, I'm really interested in her. her. yeah. She's really dope. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of performing, have you been performing at events? And if so, like what kind of events? And- yeah, I've done um, the Ansmo Awards. Yep. I've performed on the Christmas Daddy stage. Nice. Um, done a lot of different recitals and school talent shows and stuff like that. So being so young, have you got, like, what's the reception been? Have people kind of not, because I know sometimes they might not take you serious and think, oh, who's she? And then you go up there and blow them away. Like, what's the reception been so far? That happens a lot. Like, sometimes people, there there are other people who are like, oh, she's so young. And then when they come off stage, it's like, wow, you're so young, but you have such an older voice. Yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> Keep that. What's your plan? Do you have like plans to do an album and maybe, you know, more performances and stuff like that? Um, well, right now I'm just trying to do covers and singles. Okay. And hopefully when September comes, I'll get to do some performances at schools and appeal to the younger age, my age group. And uh, for anybody listening right now, again, this is Jody Upshaw in the house right here on CKDU 88.1 FM. What's your, like, social media for those that, you know, can follow you and keep up on your music and what you've already done and what you may be doing? I'm on SoundCloud at Jody Upshaw. Um, Instagram, Jody Upshaw. Everything is basically Jody Upshaw. I got Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, all that. It's just Jody Upshaw. Okay, cool. So let's give him one of these covers this is actually featuring a friend to the show Caleb Simmons if I were a boy the, the Beyonce song right um, what was like I guess the uh, like what made you want to redo this one and put it out there for the people well Beyonce has always been a very powerful inspiration to me um, I seen her in concert over the summer and that was a moment to me that was like wow I know I have to be a singer I have to work to that so um, I thought it'd be cool to just um, get that Beyonce side of me out Okay, cool. So let's do this. Anybody you want to shout out right now or, you know, that might be listening? Or? Um, my MAGA basketball girls. Um, Caleb Simmons, because he's in this. Um, Actually, you know, and I was going to ask you, what made you, like, how did the Caleb collabo come to be? Well, Caleb's my cousin, too. Okay. His voice is so unique, and I just wanted to work with that. Nice. Okay. Shout out to Caleb Simmons. We're definitely going to get into something from him later, too. I was just going to ask you, like, what, you know, the, the whole TMG part of it, like, what? how did you link up with TMG? Well, um, one day my dad was just like, oh, I'm going to take you to this studio and just check it out. And I didn't know much about it, and then I met uh, Corey there, yep. who's in Neo Dreams. And when Jay Brew sent me the beat, for um, the song Slow Down. I wanted to record it somewhere and I was like, let's go back to Corey and record it there. So are you like signed to TMG? Is that, is that are they helping to promote your music or how? Yeah, uh, Tony is my co-manager right now. Okay. So yeah. Nice. Well, shout out to Tony and TMG and, you know, uh, any artist or any company, I should say, that's, you know, bringing uh, up some of these younger artists because, you know, there's a lot of talent here, but we definitely need uh, some fresh talent to keep it going here in Nova Scotia and Atlantic Canada. Tell us about the song. Like, what is it? What is it all about? Well, it's all about um, taking your time and things and being precise. And then everyone's going fast these days. Just slow down and do what you want to do. Do you write all of your own stuff? Like, is this something yeah, you wrote? Yeah, with, of course, that with my dad. And with um, my song Young Love, um, Neon Dreams helped with a little bit of the chorus there. We'll get into that, too. We got Jody Upshaw and her dad, Marvin Upshaw, a.k.a. KL, live in the studio. This next song we got is called uh, Young Love with uh, Neon Dreams, right? 
Yes. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Like, you, did you write the song? Well, Young Love, um, I wrote it. And it's about being in love with something or someone. Okay. So being passionate about something, but not being taken serious because of your age. Yeah, that's see, that, and that's why I like like the point of view. You know, I mean, not a lot of people get to hear that point of view. Shout out to Frank Cadillac from uh, Neon Dreams, helping us with a, a good vocal reference for the hook too. And uh, he, Neon Dreams in general, has been just great with uh, Jody TMG Entertainment. Shout outs to that, Jay Bro. Uh, there's a lot of development that she's going through, but with the process, we got a lot of help. That I was just asking uh, off air if you guys like you know took any of this. Um, any of these tracks to, to radio, but you said this was actually the debut of that song on the radio and maybe her very first radio interview right here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. But that, to me, that song especially sounds like a hit. Like, that should be something that gets played on mainstream radio. So hopefully they, you know, don't wait until you make it big in Toronto before they play it. Like, this is something that, you know, should be played right now. You know what I mean? So shout out to, to you, and I'm definitely going to play it here until they tell me I can't. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Jody, like, where do you see yourself maybe in five to ten years in this music business? Or what are your goals, maybe short-term and long-term? That's probably a better question. On the radio, I want kids my age to look up to me and say I want to be like her or kids younger than me yep. too or kids my age just saying wow I'm her age and she's doing something yeah I don't know if there's anything else you want to say anything yeah. look out for her coming to you know the schools in the Maritimes you know school dances talking to the kids and getting her out on the promotion level and then once we have a good following uh, We'll take it from there and hit you with that single, hit you with that album and, and different shows. So, yeah, cool. it's just the process, man. Well, I just want to thank you for coming in. And when you got an album or whatever, is something coming up, like, please come through again and give us an update on how things are going. And I hope to see you doing really big things in the near future. Yeah, tune in.